What's going on everybody? Josh here from Hunt's Photo and Video and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Panasonic Lumix G9. I was able to get my hands on this camera for the past few weeks, so today I'm going to be taking a look at this beautiful machine, and I will also be going over the latest firmware update from Panasonic. I'll also be talking a little bit about the Vlog Edition, as well as some of the general specifications. I'm also going to be showing some sample images and footage that I took raw from camera, no edits, so you guys can see just how truly amazing this camera really is. So, let's just get right into it. The Lumix G9 is only one of the many incredible cameras in the Lumix mirrorless line, and for being two years old, will still hold its own both for photo and video in 2020. With its sleek yet robust design, articulating screen functionality, and 4K capabilities, this camera is full of advantages. The camera has a micro four thirds 20.3 megapixel digital live MOS sensor with a Venus engine image processor. It has the ability to shoot in 4K at 60 frames per second, but it can also shoot at 180 frames per second in 1080 for that super smooth slow motion. The camera has also integrated 6.5 stops of image stabilization, which is useful for both photo and video. The G9 has also integrated the high res mode. Essentially, the camera is going to be utilizing the sensor shift stabilization technology in high res mode to capture and compile eight individual images into one ultra high resolution and color accurate 80 megapixel image. With this added function, you are able to create those ultra high resolution photos while still remaining on a 20 megapixel sensor. With a continuous shooting speed of 20 frames per second, as well as the addition of the vlog profile, the G9 truly is a versatile camera that's ready to be used by both photographers and videographers alike. Now since I mentioned vlog, let's talk briefly about it. So vlog is Panasonic's version of the log picture profile. Essentially shooting in log for video is incredibly effective for maintaining a lot more stops of dynamic range by using an incredibly flat picture profile. This allows for a lot more manipulation in post and just gives you a a lot more flexibility when shooting in video. But be careful, just because you have more flexibility does not mean you can be lazy and careless about it. In fact, it is imperative to make sure that you are exposing and white balancing accurately or else your footage is just not going to come out well at all. Vlog is currently available for purchase at the price point of $100. Now it's time to get into the latest firmware update from Panasonic. We've got a few new major features and functions in version 2.1. To start, users now have the added function of animal eye autofocus, which will even continue to track the subject once their back is turned. This can be incredibly useful and fun, even in quarantine. Video users will also rejoice as this update has brought 4K 10-bit 30p internal recording, as well as a 4K 10-bit 60p output, which is pretty great. We also get the added bonus of being able to utilize the HDR function, as well as a variable frame rate shooting. Overall, this camera is great for both photo and video, and with the wide selection of micro four thirds lenses, you really can't go wrong. As always, you can find this camera and many others at huntsphotoandvideo.com, or one of our eight locations around New England. We love to talk cameras, so any calls or emails are always welcome. Stay safe, and we hope to see you all very soon.